It's Manda Panda, and I'm here with my first custom My Little Pony Tinkerbell edition. And I'm gonna be customizing Applejack. And to get started, we're gonna have to remove her cutie mark. And I'm just using some acetone, and it rubs right off. That was super easy. So now I'm gonna get started with the full body. I'm using this flesh tone paint because it's really close to the color of Tinkerbell and I am going to cover Applejack completely in this flesh tone color. Now this was my first attempt ever at customizing a My Little Pony and I gotta admit my first impression on putting this first layer of paint was oh my gosh is this paint gonna cover because when I put down the first layer you can see where the paint kind of like it doesn't stick very well to the pony's body and so you have to put several coats so if you are gonna try and customize your own my little pony just uh, be forewarned you are gonna need to use about three to four coats of paint to get a really good coverage um, on the body and four coats later here she is now I'm gonna get started on Tinkerbell's hair now Tinkerbell has her hair in like a little bun with some bangs at the front so to try and recreate this look I am going to twist the pony's hair really tightly and then I'm gonna hot glue it down and it's gonna kind of make that bun shape and make sure you make sure that the hair gets twisted really tight and press down and let the glue dry before adding more This is, this is looking pretty good. I think it looks pretty close to Tinkerbell's hairstyle. And there's enough hair after it's been twisted around to um, leave the little bangs on the forehead just like Tinkerbell. And before I did this, I did spray the hair with some hairspray just so that I could get all the little stray hairs. And that did, did cause some of the paint to kind of like um, peel off but that's okay I'm just gonna touch those little sections up and no big deal and her hair is coming along and you're gonna get a lot of these little um, loose strands of hot glue and that's okay you know you just pull them off and uh, that's it and I am putting just a little bit of glue in her hair to catch all these um, like strays, these flyaways. she is I love that hair next we're gonna get started on Tinkerbell's dress so I chose this bright green color and let's take a look at Tinkerbell you see how in the front of her dress it kind of had like a um, like a little scallop at the front so I'm going to draw that onto Applejack here and I am just making that little sweetheart neckline that Tinkerbell has And the second coat of paint, like this green coat, goes on really easily and it covers really well once you have that first coat of paint on. So I'm not struggling. This is probably only gonna take one or two coats. It's not gonna take three or four. And that looks, that's looking pretty good, yeah. 
that looks a lot like Tinker Bell's dress. I love Tinker Bell, she is so cute. So let's get the rest of this dress on. When it comes to the back of the dress, if you notice on Tinker Bell's, like the hem of her dress kind of has like a cutout look to it, like it's been torn a little bit. And I'm trying to recreate that look here on Applejack by making little little triangles at the hem of the feet. So it kind of gives it that look of it's being, you know, cut just like Tinkerbell. And uh, honestly, you know, I was making I, I was making this and as I was painting, I thought, gosh, this kind of looks like Peter Pan, but it, it, Tinkerbell, it's gonna be Tinkerbell. But I guess if you wanted to, you could totally tweak this a little bit and make it Peter Pan. And I am just going in, putting in those little like triangles to give it that cutaway look. Now, I, I originally left the back end of the pony beige, but I didn't really like that, so I ended up filling in the entire back of her. And now we're gonna give her feet, her back feet, some shoes, because Tinkerbell wears green shoes. And try to make both sides as, sides as even as possible. Now I'm gonna go in with this clear paint because we all know Tinkerbell's a fairy and what's a fairy without some bling bling glitter, right? So I'm just going in and I'm putting a really light coat of this extreme glitter paint just to give Tinkerbell some shine. So the last thing we're gonna have to do for Tinkerbell are her wings. Now what I've done is I have taken some floral wire and I've twisted them into these wing shapes. And what I'm going to do is I am going to cover the inside of the wings with some glue. And I know that this may look a little strange, but what's gonna happen is the glue's gonna dry and the glue's gonna be clear. So just put glue in between the little wings and set those aside to let them dry. And when you pick them up, um, it'll kind of look like that once it's dry. So on to Tinkerbell's eyelashes. So we did cover those, or I covered those up with paint just to make it a little bit easier for myself because sometimes getting those really tiny details can be really hard. So I'm just using a Sharpie, and if you want to use paint, you're more than welcome to, but I thought using a Sharpie was a lot easier and I'm just going to paint in her missing eyelashes. And she originally had three, so I'm gonna give her three again. And the reason that I used Applejack was because her eyes are already green and she has blonde hair just like Tinkerbell. Now we're gonna have to fill in the eyebrows. And I used a mixture of sunny yellow and white to get a really pretty blonde color to match her hair and we are going to paint on some little eyebrows here. That looks good. There we go. And let's get on her other eyebrow and we'll have to move her hair out of the way. Yeah, so we don't get paint in her hair. And st steady hand. And there it goes. There go her eyebrows. The next thing is Tinkerbell has these little white puffs on her shoe and I've made some hot glue dots and I let them harden and I peeled them off of the table and I am painting them white. And once they're dry, all we're gonna do is hot glue the glue dots, the painted glue dots directly onto 
the pony's feet and they look just like the little white puffs that Tinkerbell has on her shoes. And the second one. And she looks so cute. Look at her. So let's finish up those wings and I'm gonna use a light blue and a silver. Here are the wings, they're all dry and you see the glue dried crystal clear and we are just going to paint directly over those glue wings that we made. And I'm using the light blue and I'm gonna cover the entire front and back of the wing with the light blue paint. Just one coat, front and back. And then I'm going back in once it's dry and I'm covering it with some silver to give it some shine. Now that they're all nice and dry, we are gonna have to glue these directly on to the pony's body. So here's the wing. And I think this is about a good position here. Press down firmly and hold there until the glue hardens and then repeat that on the other side with the other wing. And she is all done. Let's take a look. So here is the custom Tinkerbell My Little Pony Applejack transformed into Tinkerbell. What do you guys think? This was my first attempt at a custom My Little Pony. I think it came out amazing, but I want to know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button so that I know and leave me some suggestions down at the bottom in the comments for what I should do next. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I don't know what you're waiting for. Thanks for watching.